What's good, YouTube? This is uh, Mango392, uh, back at it with another video. And um, uh, today is uh, Monday, January 27th, and um, this is gonna be a different video. Uh, I had time to digest the events that uh, took place um, yesterday with the passing of uh, Kobe Bryant and his daughter, uh, Gianna, uh, Gianna Bryant. Um, truly a, a, a sad day for all of us, uh, particularly uh, me being a, a huge Laker fan, you know, from, you know, Magic all the way up into the Kobe Bryant um, era. But um, I wanted to, uh, first of all, let me say my deepest condolences to the Bryant family and the other uh, seven uh, members that were on that uh, helicopter crash uh, yesterday. Um, so I, I can't even imagine or finding words of what to say, you know, in that in that tragic event yesterday. Um, I, I just can't. I, I don't. I don't have no words. But. Um, you see the, the the title of my video, and I'm gonna try to be as brief as I can. Um, and if I'm looking down, I needed some notes, so please forgive me, guys, as I look at some notes. Um, my title is taken from my wife because uh, she put up a video um, herself, and I will put her video description um, above uh, this video, and also in the. I also put her link in the, in the video description below as well, but it gave me time to ponder um, and think about things, uh, especially with what she said of, you know, live your life on purpose with a purpose. And I think that's what Kobe did. And I think with his, you know, tragic death, I think it hit so hard but uh, like I said, I'm gonna be brief and, and this is gonna be raw, so I'm just gonna throw it up so you guys can see it. And hopefully, you know, I inspire somebody because th the legacy that Kobe um, will, always re be, will always be remembered is his Mamba mentality. But let me, let me get into some things and kind of explain where I'm coming from with this with this video. Kobe came into the league in 1996, drafted by the Charlotte Hornets, and later on got traded. Well, that same, you know, that same day he got um, drafted, he got traded to the Lakers for Vlade Divac. Now, guys, I want to remind you that this young gentleman came into the league at 17 years old. 17 years old and I'm, I'm i'm putting the emphasis on it because 17 you're still a kid you 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 think you know everything but you really don't know you know nothing now this is a young man against men of you know i want to say two three four years of experience and i took time to do some basic research and when I when he came into the league in 1996 um we're talking we're talking players and you guys can google it because I know some of you guys won't know some of these uh players but you know we're talking the likes of Derek Fisher, Eldon Campbell, Robert Ory, Eddie Jones, Jerome Kersey, um George McLeod, Shaquille O'Neal um who else? Ramil Robinson, Byron Scott, Nick Van Exel, uh, Rick Fox. Some of the some of the people that you guys are familiar with. Now, if you can imagine 17 years old trying to fit in with these men who have years of experience in the NBA, uh, that's difficult. Very difficult. And then you also have to try to prove yourself to these um to these gentlemen of the game because we're talking about guys who went to college and then got drafted into the NBA so they're looking at Kobe like who are you 
coming from high school, coming into this game. How, how does that work? So at 17 years old, you, can you imagine being amongst men? You can't do what they do. You can't go out and drink. You can't go to parties. You can't do anything adult life, but you're on that adult level status. So in my mind, in my opinion, that has to be frustrating, frustrating to no end. So doing a lot of research, he stayed to himself and studied the game like no other. And that's what Kobe did his whole life was study, study everything, whether it was the NBA or outside of, of the, uh, the sports life. And I think that's what attracted so many people to him was his willing willingness to learn the game and just life in general. And that's what makes him great. And also in the beginning, that's what made him misunderstood. Like, who is this cocky kid coming in you know, to the league, you know, telling us that I can do it, I can handle it, I got it. Um, truly outstanding. I don't think many, speaking in my opinion, I don't think there's many men that could do that and last 20 seasons or 20 years in the league like this. And to go on, let me list some of his accomplishments. Um, Five-time NBA champion, uh, seven NBA seven NBA Finals, two-time MV, NBA Finals MVP, uh, NBA Most Valuable Player in 2008, a two-time scoring champion. This was the kicker that I didn't realize, and I'm an avid basketball fan. An 18-time NBA All-Star, 18 times. There's only one other person who he's ahead of, and that's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. 18 times, four-time NBA All-Star Game MVP, 15-time All-NBA Team Selection, 12-time All-Defensive Team Selection. I mean, the, the, the list goes on. It goes on. This man was a true ambassador to the game and, and how well he studied the game. And I, I, I just remember him you know, being a one-man wrecking machine, you know, uh, and that face, everybody knows that face where he just gritted and he was like, you know, I'm going to get you. And sure enough, Kobe, Kobe, uh, he, he, he got people, you know, he really did. He got people and I'll, I'll, I'll never forget it. And I have those memories, which I will, I will, I will really treasure, um, about this man. You know, that mama mentality, uh, I think every young person, uh, people people of my age, all ages, we know what that mama mentality is about, and we hope to uh, lead by that example. So I say that to say this, guys, you know, um, live your life on purpose with a purpose. We, we never know when you know, that our, our calling is going to come because, you know, I'm, I'm at a loss of words even right now. It's, it's just, I'm just, I have a numb feeling like I can't believe this man is gone. I feel like I knew him just, you know, being a basketball player, not a basketball player, but watching him, I feel like I, I, I know him, you know, cause here's a man that, that just, gave 200% on and off the court and now he's gone just gone you know taking his daughter seven other people in the helicopter to to go to a basketball game you know living life after the NBA and that's all he did you know from reading interviews and 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 all sorts of stuff you know that was his proudest moment was his family his wife his his daughter's going to the games. As you can see on, on video, you know, he was right there with his family and, and now that's all gone. So I say that to say this, guys, don't don't take life for granted. You know, this is not a game. This is not Fortnite. You know, you only get one shot at this, you know. You know, live, live your life um, on purpose with a purpose. Um, 
think about what type of legacy you want to you want to leave behind for your family. I know I'm not on the 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 pedestal of of Kobe, but when it comes to my family uh and friends, I want to know that I left an impression, you know. Um this video is ironic because it and and I'll put the uh my video link above on the right hand side of when I talked about Omi and the Hellcat and how Tall Guy Car Reviews and Mr. Organic, you know, came to him and rallied behind, rallied, you know, for him in his time of need, you know. Didn't realize that he was depressed and feeling sad and everything like that. And just those two guys coming to Philadelphia changed his spirit to where he's just grinding and he's taking life, you know, seriously. So, um... Guys, just live your life, you know, to the fullest and, and don't regret anything that you do. Any dreams that you have, you know, I know us as, as YouTubers and even this video, you'll probably find thousands of videos like this, but it's it's an eye opener. You know, you you it's like, wow, you know, my life could go at any moment. What what do I leave my family behind? What do I did, did I live my life on purpose with a purpose? You know, that that's the question that I ask you guys and, and I challenge you guys to do that. You know, that's why I said in my previous video, let's uplift each other because that's the same thing Kobe did. He uplifted, he tried to uplift everybody. He lift, he uplifted his teammates. And and, and to, to piggyback off of something, you know, um, I remember, uh, put a little bug in your guys uh ear is that this guy won one mvp without Shaq. he did it by himself just to prove to the world that he can do this he can he can carry a team you know so that's in in my mind that's that's us you know i i can't say enough for the man and um like i said i'm truly at a loss for words especially you know losing a daughter. I, I I just can't imagine losing, you know, a, a child at, at at such a young age. But I don't want to make this video long. Um, I I had some time to really digest it, and I really still can't digest it. But I challenge you guys to to live your life on purpose with a purpose. You know us. You know, us in the car community, uh, we continue to uplift each other, you know, stop all this, this nonsense, you know, you know, we're, we're just people, you know, and we're going to make mistakes. I'll continue to make mistakes. Other YouTubers will make mistakes, man. But come in here, let's uplift each other and, and let's continue to to make uh, a legacy for, for each and every one in here. But um, guys, that'll do it. Um, like I said, a somber day. Like I said, my condolences go out to the Bryant family, the other seven family members out there. And um, what else can I say, guys? Live your life on purpose, with a purpose. And um, yeah, that's all I have to say, man. Until next time, guys, this is Mango392. Be sure to like, subscribe, and please share this video. You know, if it means anything, share this video so that other people can see it. And hopefully we all can inspire uh, each other at the end of the day. All right, guys, that's all I have to say. Um, be blessed. Make sure you 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 uh, not only just this day, man, because, you know, before I get off, you know, we we tend to think back at these moments when a tragic event happens and, you know, we're like, you know, make sure you tell your loved ones you love them or reach out to your friends and, you know, just say, hey, what's up? But we should be doing that every day. And that includes me. We should be doing that every day, every single day, because you can never you'll never know when your calling is upon you. But that's it, guys. Be sure to share this. Con be sure to share this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Till next time, guys, I'm out. Peace. Thank you.